Yo. Hey, man, I'm over here tripping. Like, god dang, doorbell rang. I don't even know if y'all seen the last video, man. My ass was scared. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, like, ringing the doorbell. Like, usually, like, people don't come unannounced. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it'll show peoples and shit. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, all right, damn. You know what? People gonna come through. They gonna slide through or whatever, whatever. So I'm just gonna pick back up, man. This is this is part two. I don't even know if I wanna call it part two. I just call it this the uh, the next episode in the bye week, cause I, I this is gonna be separate. This is gonna be a few days after I drop the first one, but it's all you know what I'm saying. This first day. So what I was left off saying was that you know I don't wanna see anything major, dramatic, no dramatic switches or anything crazy where it's like. Okay, um, we look like a totally different team. Like, we do need to have continuity. This is something that I always was preaching. I was preaching it when we had Hugh Jackson or whatever, you know, telling people, like, man, we just need to stick it out, blah, blah. Even though it was the terrible, terrible time, and I get, you know what I'm saying? If I went through that, why can't I just go for two and four? And to get on to that, man, I don't like it when people do be talking about, like, Last year is last year, but then everybody want to say this year, oh, we go two and four, everybody still want to trip. Like, no. Nah. Y'all said leaving last year, last year, now y'all want to bring this year, y'all want to bring last year into the stuff or previous years back into the stuff. Like, which one y'all going to roll with? You know what I'm saying? Are we going to bring all, we going to bring in the franchise duties, everything in the franchise undone? Or are we going to talk about just what's happening right now? Because if we just talking about what's happening right now, Yes, everything is on panic. Everything is fucked up. Like, because when we walked into the season, we thought it was going to be some wrecked league shit. Yes, there's a lot of football left. Yes, I said we can go through. I wanted us to go 12 and 4. And, um, and that we, uh, damn, I don't even know how to talk. 12 and 4, and that, that we got to win out. You know what I'm saying? We basically got to win out at this point. You know what I mean? So. It's ridiculous, man, when you talk about it, essentially. Like, okay, put it in an aspect like this. Like, you go in there, you like, damn, we got, we got, we got, it. you know what I'm saying, nice new whip, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? My uncle told me this. We got nice new whip. We get in this motherfucker, this motherfucker ain't even got no, I don't want to even talk about, like, Damn, but the line, man, it's like the line is the tires, and the tires is not getting any tread right now. The line is not holding any tread, bruh. Like, we got all these nice-ass pieces, but the wheels ain't holding the tread, and right now the adversity is the rain, man. Our motherfucking shit is slippery, and, like, we all here swerving, bruh. Fucking swerving. You know what I'm saying? So... We got to get this stuff together, man. Like I said, Greg Robinson, I feel like he can get it together, man. I feel like all of them can. You know what I'm saying? Even though they got exposed over the, over the past two games, and I'm just thinking about what Joel Batonio got on his ass. And I feel bad for these dudes. First of all, that's another thing, man, I got to put in the aspect. Like, these people was putting this stuff out on entertainment for us. You know what I'm saying? So, anything that they do wrong, we going to see. And that shit is embarrassing, but, like, they thugs, you know what I'm saying? They they G's for, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not, like, giving a fuck about if they got embarrassed on TV or not, man. That shit is so crazy. But, um, anywho, Joel Petonio got put on his ass, man. That shit was funny on the 49ers game, man. Like, I wish I could play a clip right now where I could just show y'all. That shit was so crazy, like. It didn't look as bad like he got, like, kid pushed on his ass, but he was on his ass nonetheless. He went backwards. You're supposed to be doing the backwards stuff. But it might have been a pass protection. And, again, like I said, man, it's, the run game is cool. The run blocking and everything cool, man. Everybody doing their job. Even Oil Beckham, man, I know I'm, like, the hater. Of, you know what I'm He won't block Brown and Orange now. I ain't no hater right now. You know what I'm saying? I actually appreciate him being on the team because I feel like eventually he going to turn it around too. And actually, while I'm on that, going into the bye week, I'm pleasantly surprised that, you know what I'm saying, that it's not as as crazy as as I thought it was going to be. Like, he actually been kind of quiet. 
he ain't been totally quiet. He's been kind of like self-inflicting in a little bit. But, I mean, that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? People people shoot. He going to shoot back. Blah, blah. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, for him being mild-mannered, you know what I'm saying, just keeping a low profile as far as Cleveland goes, as far as where we at, you know what I'm saying? I think it's – um. I'm, but I might be speaking too soon, man. Let me shut the hell up. For real, because something might happen. See, and that's the thing. Another thing I want to say is about Six. When Six got injured the last game against uh, who do we, Seahawks, that shit meant a lot to me, man. For real. Like, I thought it was over. I was like, oh, man, here come the backup, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're going to have this controversy, this, that, and the third. But he came right back, man. I thought that shit was real G, man. I thought it was real thug for him to come back out and just finish it out, man, because we can't have that talk right now. We can't have the, uh, I already forgot dude's name, like Jason Garrett or something like, or no, that's the coach. God damn it. Uh, Garrett Gilbert. I think that's right. Um... I'm not, I, I think that's right. Uh, if he would have came out there and started balling, oh shit, it would have been it would have been a wrap. It would have been what happened. But the difference is, is that Baker's our franchise, and ain't nobody gonna be able to turn this shit around like Baker, man. People talking about like they oh they already gave up on Baker and this that, and the third like, no, no 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 no. Like he is the right attitude for our team, like. Granted, can he be a little more gentle, a little more soft around the edges or whatever like that? Perhaps, you know, think about things before just saying it, but he ain't never said anything too, too crazy either, though, at the same time. You know what I'm saying? He never said anything where it was just like, like, you really like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might just be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Or like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't no like, or like... You know what I'm saying? Like, where you really be like, like, what did I just hear type shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, or, oh, hell no. That's the worst. When you get one of that, like, oh, hell no. This more like, your blood just be boiling. He ain't never did nothing like that. Ever. And not from I remember. You know what I'm saying? Or at least from while he been here, he ain't been like that. Even with the Hugh Jackson shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it wasn't like, no, oh, hell no. Like, like this motherfucker out of out of bounds, like like he tripping, like you felt where he was coming from at the end of the day when he used to say sh- when he would say shit. So I don't know, man. Like I wouldn't say that it's time to give up on Baker either, man. Like that's that's he the only one that's gonna be able to do it. And if he ain't able to do it, I'm scared. Like I'm scared what's gonna happen because I don't know who else can. Honestly, I I believe that he is the only one strong-minded enough, dedicated enough to turn, like, situations around, you know what I'm saying, or that can turn this situation, this fucked-up organization, this fucked-up franchise, I feel like he the quarterback for it, but it has to be done on the coach, where we go back to Freddie, you gotta run the ball with Chubb more, why not, why not, this is this is my whole issue with the whole thing, okay? Like we got Freddie or not Freddie, excuse me. We got Nick, Nick Chubb, and then we got Cream Hunt coming back. Why wouldn't you run it up with Chubb? Let him get his thousand yards rushing, and then when Chubb or when Hunt come back, you rest Hunt or Chubb. You rest Chubb when Hunt come back, and let Chubb or let Hunt. Just pick up where Chubb left off. I'm going to say Cream and Nick because that shit was hard. So basically, when Nick do his thing in the first eight eight games, you let Kareem come in, pick up where Nick left off, let Nick get in the hyperbolic time chamber, send Zoom beating it up, you know what I'm saying, get healthy, and we make a postseason stretch, and then both of them just doing, you know what I'm saying? You can pick your poison. But instead, what y'all want to do, what Freddie want to do, or whatever, Ty Monk, whoever, want to fucking pass all the damn time. Like, why? Why? You got two perennial, like, I get it, you got receivers on the outside, but it ain't like they not about to get the ball. It ain't like y'all not about to throw it. Y'all just don't need to throw it as much. And I oh, man, see, I'm getting hyped. 
this wasn't supposed to be a hype video. This was supposed to be encouragement and us feeling good going into the bye week. And I feel like I'm a little too passionate right now. So I'm going to bring it down. But that's my issue. Because I can hear what people are saying. Like when uh, Cleveland Brown Radio said what they said. Oh, you know, what did they expect? Nick Chubb is second in this, third in this. You don't have to be second. If you ain't first, you last. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we third place. Close to last. Might as well be last because we're not first. No more. Running up. In obvious situations, you got to run the ball. Run it through Chubb. I don't give a shit that he in the passing game. That's cool. Gravy. But he needs his touches. Let that motherfucker run all over. And let him tire them down. Let the let your linemen succeed. Let them beat up some of the guys. You feel me? I ain't saying give it to 30 times. I said 20 to 25. That's not 30. Motherfuckers that exaggerating that shit is too much. Oh, we ain't say, uh, give it 30, uh, give it the ball 30. Well, what more do you want? Blah, blah, blah. Like, excuse me? Like, do you not want to win? It's not like you got a problem with winning. Like, I, like, that's the formula. That's the formula for winning. Right now, at least. Give Baker time. Give everybody time. They ain't playing the preseason. Give everybody time. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, people would get me fired up, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, people say some goofy shit, and they just be like, y'all supposed to be, y'all supposed to be the experts. And I get it, like, y'all trying to be positive, blah, blah, or people trying to spin, or this, that. But, no. Let's be real here. That's what I'm about to do. What is it called? The Real Uncensored Brown fan. Real. And I'm going to just keep it real, man. Not, I could be wrong. It's all opinion. I get that. But the fact of the matter is, is that we're not having the success that we could have, that we should be having. And it come down to a few play calls. Yes, it come down to penalties, but we abandoned the run too many times, dog. And yes, we had 20, he had 20 carries the last game, and we still lost. But I would lose in that fashion, you feel me? We only lost because he th Baker threw the interception, and, and, and he said that he had confidence. Brady said that he had confidence that we was going to um, score on that last drive. And I, I feel him, because I thought so too. I do. If that shit did not happen, it, it felt like Madden. It felt like right when that shit happened, I wanted to turn the damn game off and start the game over. But I couldn't because it was real life. So, I don't know, man. You just, I know I'm talking a whole lot. But we're going into the bye week. I'm going to do the preseason game. I'm going to do the, the pregame talk. But this is this is that second episode of uh, Brownies, Cookies, and Milk. Or, shit, I done fucked up my old title. <laughs> Take two. Brownies, Cookies, and Water because I don't like milk. That shit is, oh, hell no. No leche. No me gusta la leche. Uh uh. Malo. Malo. Muy malo. Um, alright. Love, peace, and brownies. I'm out.